Today in Crypto In a time of many new crypto coins, platforms, and contracts, Polygon is starting to pave a way and rise to the throne of Ethereum Layer 2's. Polygon, formerly known as the Matic Network, is a scaling solution that aims to provide multiple tools to improve the speed and reduce the cost and complexities of transactions on blockchain networks. With recent headlines surrounding both Polygon and correlating Ethereum, it's wise to get an in-depth perspective on Polygon's market positioning for those interested in Ethereum alternatives. Related reading why Cardano is on a hot streak with 10% gains in one day Here is a dive in to look at the coin once known to the world as Matic. Polygon was created in India in 2017, and was originally called the Matic Network. It was the brainchild of experienced Ethereum developers, Jain B. Kanani, Sandeep Nailwal, Anurag Arjun, and Mihail Ogjlik. The Matic Network went live in 2020 and has since attracted some of the top names in the world of decentralized finance, also known as DeFi, including Decentraland and MakerDAO. The Matic Network rebranded to Polygon in February 2021, and in April 2019 during its initial offering, the Polygon team raised the equivalent of $5,6 million in ETH with the sale of 1,9 billion Matic tokens over a brisk 20-day period. While some coins in the same field are aiming at top dog coin Ethereum, Polygon is aiming with them to help bring a new speed and software to the world. In recent times, many coins have been deemed the Ethereum killer while Polygon is arguably helping with the blockchain champ. At the core of the network is the Polygon Software Development Kit, SDK, used to build Ethereum-compatible decentralized applications as sidechains and connect them to its main blockchain. While Ethereum recently reached an all-time high, finally breaking the $4,000 mark and showing skeptics that it's here to stay, many are left asking. Could this be a future effect for Polygon as DeFi grows? Polygon has added some excellent partners to its list, and given the chain's supplementary nature to Ethereum, many have sought investing in both. Once the, the rebranding was done, Polygon retained its Matic cryptocurrency ticker the digital coin underpinning the network. Matic is used as the unit of payment and settlement between participants who interact within the network. Polygon's main chain is a proof-of-stake, POS sidechain, in which network participants can stake Matic tokens to validate transactions and vote on network upgrades. This coin is showing it has strong potential, particularly for projects around DeFi that are looking for friendlier attributes relative to Ethereum, gas fees being the most notable attribute. Related reading, Greed Swap, Super Producers Cool and Dre help launch new coin and crypto label. Coinbase posted total net revenue of $1,235 billion in Q3 falling 30% short of fact-set estimates of $1,614 billion. Coinbase, COIN, shares have taken a hit after the firm posted a 75% decrease in net income during the third quarter. Coin closed November 9 with a zero. 98% gain at a price of $357,39. However the release of the leading U.S. exchange's Q3 report after market close has coincided with a dip of around 13, 10 percent, at time of this writing, in after-hours trading. Coinbase posted revenue of $1,235 billion in Q3 falling well below analyst estimates according to fact set of $1,614 billion. The firm's profits totaled $406 million, marking a 74. 7% decrease in profit compared to the previous quarter, although it was above analyst expectations of $380 million. Coinbase also reported earnings of $1,62 per share, which came in 10% short of the fact set consensus estimate. Pick.twitter.com slash Despite the underwhelming performance in Q3, Coinbase said in the report that it had been a strong quarter for the firm, pointing toward deeper investor engagement on the platform and the development of new products such as its upcoming NFT marketplace. The firm also emphasized that it is focused on the long term as opposed to quarter to quarter. It appears that the frosty relationship between Coinbase and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) is beginning to thaw. CEO Brian Armstrong first highlighted the firm's issues with the SEC in September when he revealed that the enforcement body had threatened to sue Coinbase if it launched its USD coin, 
USDC, lending program. Armstrong followed those comments up later that month by stating that the SEC was the only government branch that was unwilling to meet with the firm. However Armstrong said on the Q3 earnings call today that he'd had a very productive meeting with SEC Chairman Gary Gensley last week. Coinbase CEO at Brian underscore Armstrong says on Q3 call that he met with SEC Chairman Gary Gensler last week called it very productive. The firm posted a 41% growth in subscription services revenue of $145 million compared to Q2 via its such avenues as its CTH 2,0 staking program, custodial fee revenues and token rewards. The firm also noted that its 7,4 million monthly transacting users MTUs, are beginning to engage beyond crypto's first use case. Related. Coinbase launches standalone browser extension for Coinbase wallet trading volume on the platform tallied at $327 billion in Q3, down 29% compared to Q2, with institutional investors representing the lion's share of trading with $234 billion, while retail traders accounted for $93 billion. Ether, EDH, outperform Bitcoin, BTC in terms of trading volume for the second quarter in a row, with the former totaling 22% while the latter equated to 19% of total volume. Other crypto assets accounted for 59% of trading volume, which was up 18% compared to Q2. What's going on in Bitcoin country? Salvadoran Smiles got rehabilitation and the Chivo Pets Veterinary Hospital is well underway. All of that and more made possible by the power of Bitcoin. Of course. Not everything is sunny and positive. The Chivo wallet keeps malfunctioning and bad actors are stealing people's identities. Besides that, an internet personality makes her way to El Salvador and finds hip-hop in the streets. To summarize, Bitcoin can do it all and couldn't care less about politics. If some section of Salvadorans has a problem with President Buechel, that's between those two parties. We can only celebrate Bitcoin here. That's what the news from El Salvador feature is about. That's what Bitcoinist is about. So, let's do it. Morgan Harper, a former senior advisor at the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, is coming out as crypto curious in her race to be the Democratic nominee for one of Ohio's United States Senate seats. In a Tuesday thread on Twitter, NYSE, TWTR, Harper said she was interested in the possibilities Bitcoin, BTC and other cryptocurrencies could mean for policy in Ohio. According to the Democratic candidate, Bitcoin can take the place of many functions of traditional banks by passing on the wealth of the network to all users rather than a handful of large shareholders. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Outseason rumors are on the rise on November 9 as altcoins capitalize on Bitcoin's move to a new all-time high and the ensuing consolidation that tends to occur after BTC pulls back to retest underlying support levels. As is often the case when Bitcoin has pullbacks during a bull market, some of the outflows find their way into the altcoin market and the chart below shows this dynamic is at play on November 9. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.